Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So I have a little haul for you guys, you know, because my previous haul was just so, so big and it was a pain to keep everything back and collect everything and I kind of forgot a few items also. But yeah, so as soon as, you know, a little bit of stuff accumulated, I thought, you know, I have to haul it. So let me show you what all I got. So first, I got, you know, the new range uh, by Maybelline, which is the Fit Me range. And this is the range of foundation concealer and the fit me powder so I got you know in um, my shade of course so the foundation is in the shade 115 ivory the concealer is in the shade 20 sand sable okay and the powder is in the shade 120 classic ivory yeah so I've done you know a detailed review plus like a demo slash first impressions video also about it and I'm wearing all these three products on my face today you know like the base makeup with these three products I will be linking that video here um, so please be sure to check that out if you haven't 500 for the concealer and 525 for the foundation and the price for this powder is 475 so yeah, um, pretty good deal I think, you know. Prices are like pretty okay, pretty good. Uh, but you know, you can see how the how all these products fit for me if you just watch that video. Then in makeup, I got um, these new Revlon Photo Ready Eye Arts. You know, these were apparently new launches and the girl said that they've just launched, you know, very recently, like a month back. And I absolutely fell in love with them. You know, there were like five or six basic shades of these eye art pens or, you know, eye art shadows, whatever you'd like to call it. And they are double ended. So I got, you know, two of them in the shades. This is in the shade Gold Glitz. And this one is in the shade... Um, what's the shade? What's the shade? Come on, come on, come on. Sparkle. Yep, sparkle. No, black brilliance. Sorry. <laughs> this is in the shade Gold Glitz 070 and this is in the shade Black Brilliance 030. So these are the two shades and I got these ones because I, you know, um, there was like pink, there was green, there was blue, but I got these and they were also like very beautiful. But I got these because they were so basic and you know, I wanted to have a golden base and I wanted to have a black base. So these are, you know, the two bases and I'll just swatch it for you guys because they're so amazing and they are very quick drying and they're very highly pigmented. So there goes, you know, the black base and, oh, and I'll just spread it out a little bit, okay? So yeah, and then um, there goes uh, the golden base. And they're very pretty, they're very creamy and they are, you know, I'm wearing the black base on my eyes today and over that I'm wearing, you know, a little bit of shadow, uh, powder eye shadow. But I absolutely, you know, love these. Um, I art, you know, and along with them, they have these glitter duos. So now I'm going to show you the sparkle side, you know, of this black brilliance one, or because uh, they knew they still have the stickers on. So, yeah, so this is, you know, a brush tip with uh, this gel based sparkle, and it has silver and blue glitter. It's beautiful. I hope you, you're able to look at it because it's so beautiful and real. It's got silver and blue glitter over that dark black base and it just comes out super, super pretty. Now I'm not going to apply it now right now because it's going to mess up my makeup. And then over the, you know, the golden base, um, let me apply this black gel. It's a light black gel, you know, a very, or maybe a clear gel with lots of, black glitter black and silver glitter and i loved both these you know eye art pens so much so much so much that i just fell in love with them and i think they were for 850 rupees each and i spent that money because i really wanted to have them really really did and you know the girl said that no other brand had come out with you know something like that and i was like wow you know eye arts i really would like to have them and with those pens i got you know a free lip gloss because, you know, they kind of know me now and I've like gone there so much, so frequently. So even though, you know, the offer kind of doesn't match up, match it, matched up to the, um, the price, but they still, you know, gave me this lip gloss. So yeah, um, this is, you know, the Revlon Color Stay Lip Gloss Seeds promotional pack and because it was free and it's in the shade 020 Rio Rush. 
Rio Rush, okay? And that's that's like a, it's like a basic Barbie pink lip gloss and it's really pretty. It's quite uh, shiny but not so shiny. Um, but still, you know, it's it's uh, moderately to highly pigmented. I won't say it's highly pigmented or it's, you know, got a good coverage, but it's moderately pigmented and it has a moderate moderate coverage and it's um, quite a pretty pink pink and it's exactly similar to MAC Impassioned lipstick. So yeah, um, what else did I get? Um, oh yeah, along with those Maybelline, you know, Fit Me uh, products, I got this nail enamel free, free, which was, uh, which is again, this is like a basic Barbie pink kind of a shade or a fuchsia pink and this is, I don't know, it's just like, you know, a basic pink color. And I got one in black shade also last time when I got a few Maybelline products. I got the exact same one, you know, in a black color. So I haven't yet used it, but I really want to do some nail arts with um, those. And I've been really looking for good nail art, nail enamels. Um, somebody told me that Nika, I think, makes them. And I still have to, you know, go on the side and look at them. But I will because I am currently in the mood for doing lots of nail art. Then I got the Colossal Liner by Maybelline. In black color of course and I absolutely love it it's got such a long felt tip and it's so fine and it's new so you know there's like uh, it applies the product really well let me just oh, see how fine the tip is this liner kind of you know didn't have a very fine tip this wing uh, on this eye of mine but I kind of just created it with this liner and you can see how fine it is and um, really really dark really pigmented really good and the price of this is 425 for 1.2 grams so yeah 425 rupees is i would say slightly expensive because i really don't know how long it's gonna last me uh i'm still using you know my oriflame the one liners uh, they're really good too but they're kind of beginning to dry up now and i do i do really like the felt up of this one more because it's really long kind of like you know the l'oreal super liner if you know but l'oreal i like they sting my eye really badly and I have these two um, gel ones which are absolutely brand new and I've reviewed them on my blog but I've never really these are beautiful colors one is a golden one and one is this um, this I don't know this um, uh, rusty kind of color really beautiful liners but uh, as soon as I applied them my eyes watered so badly so badly and I kind of you know ha have been applying my L'Oreal super liner the long one with the felt tip and you know with the with a wand you know kind of like the Maybelline hyper liner packaging so yeah I have had been applying applying it for a very long time um, a year or two ago and uh, my eyes just start watering and I, I I was wonder you know why are they watering and then when I bought these gel ones and I kind of realized that uh, maybe I'm allergic to L'Oreal liner so yeah I got this one but I'm very happy with that one so far then I got you know makeup revolution eyeshadow and this is a uh, baked eyeshadow in the shade galactic and it's written new at the bag and I've torn the sticker so <laughs> I don't know how much it was for I think it was for around 400 something you know maybe 350 or maybe 450 something like that and I okay so that's how it opens up okay and it's be it's in this beautiful bronzy kind of a color and I don't know I really liked it at that time I was looking for one and I kind of spotted it and I just um, wanted to have it <laughs> so I got it and that's the pigmentation for it very very well, well pigmented very shimmery and very nice beautiful I'll definitely do some eye looks with it yeah then what else did I get um, then I got a face wash because my Clarins face wash is kind of just um, you know it, it was just finishing getting over and um, I was looking for you know the other Clarins one with lots of Shia butter not lots of Shia butter with Shia butter in it but I couldn't really find it at a good price uh, it was available on Amazon but Amazon and on Amazon it was just extremely heavily you know priced so it's like chuck it let me try something new and Nika had recently introduced you know Kiehl's brand to them so I got this Kiehl's face wash and I guess you know a lot of Kiehl's products are available now in the ultra facial cream and all that so I got the ultra facial cleanser 
my Kiehl's and um, it's quite good. I'll just show you what else I got. I got this Hyperglossy Liquid Liner by Maybelline and this is in, you know, a silver color. And since the packaging is still there, I'll just see the price. Uh, it's 3 grams and the price is 275 rupees. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, quite pigmented and it's got a lovely shine a beautiful sheen and shine to it and I wanted one you know in the golden color also but then they were out of it so I'll go and check online or I'll go back to the store and check you know for the golden one because I really wanted it because I really liked it and then they had one in you know the green color and in the blue color but they were very pretty too but um, I didn't want them because I just didn't want them so what else did I got? Then I got, you know, a Too Faced eyeshadow palette and this is so exciting, you know, because um, it's got, you know, a phone case. This is the Too Faced chocolate palette and it's actually got, you know, a phone case um, behind it. Um, um, it's an iPhone phone case, I guess, but not the new one, not the iPhone 6 one, the 4 or the 5 one maybe. I don't know if it's mentioned here or not, but it's, you know, kind of um, quite um, cheap kinds and it's... I mean, I won't say cheap, but it's not a very sturdy material and um, it comes out like this and it is mentioned here um, inside that it is for decorative purposes only and it's not intended to protect your device against damage or break it. So that's okay. So if you really make a crazy and you want to move around, you know, with your chocolate palette on your ear, then maybe, you know, you would like that. But yeah, other than that, um, this is the palette that I ordered and it's the chocolate bar, yeah chocolate bar palette and these are you know the shades that it comes with uh, well of course this palette does not have a mirror which is really really sad um, it should have had but yeah other than that it's very very sleek and very easy to carry around and it has 11 eyeshadow colors um, these are eyeshadow colors also I thought that this would be you know a powder for the face uh, when I you know ordered it online but it's not and um, these are the two blushes this is like a very light contour shade um, and a blush shade very light as well and then you know all these colors um, I'll just swatch you know a few for you yeah the pigmentation is okay it's not really amazing but it's not bad either but um, they're kind of dry and chalky actually which is really surprising to me and which makes me think that since I ordered it off uh, of Flipkart that um, I'm wondering you know if it's fake or if it's original because yeah Flipkart had like really good prices I got this palette for 1500 somewhere around 1500 rupees and that I thought was quite a good deal for you know Too Faced and uh, but you know it's like it's a good travel it's a good really good travel um, palette with all the basic necessities but this contour shade seems to be too light for me and the blush is also very very light so I would have preferred you know a little darker brush because when I'm traveling I'm definitely going to be taking a lot of pictures wherever I'm going so this uh, would be like really light for me but uh, on application it comes out just pretty but it's pretty light. I was very excited about this purple color and um, it's quite dark, very well pigmented and it's it's a dark purple shade, almost blackish with light purple glitters in it. So yeah, but they come out like really chalky and really powdery and there's like a lot of fallout from them, which is what I didn't expect from Too Faced. Again, which makes me wonder if it's original or if it's, or if it's fake. Yeah, but anyways, I paid like 1500 bucks for it. So what's done is done. Then I finally got like a really exciting product and that is this Ole Professionals uh, Pro X Advanced Cleansing System. And I was looking for a good facial cleanser for a very long time but I always thought that they're going to be extremely abrasive and I used to like feel really scared of it. But then I did see a few reviews on Amazon and yeah I bought it off from Amazon.in and uh, they said that the brush was really gentle which really made me buy this cleanser which, and uh, these are the contents so you have the handle or, the, or you know the machinery and then you attach this little brush with it and what you do is you basically 
switch it on like that and it just rotates and then you apply a face wash or you know um, a cleanser with it and then you just start scrubbing your face with it I'm gonna be doing you know a full review on it separately so do watch out for that and I've used it once and I was very happy with it like I was like wow I'm so happy I ordered this this was like probably the best purchase that I've done in the recent past and um, yeah then it also comes with a you know a little what is this what is this cleanser so I used it with this cleanser and it worked really well so I don't know if I'm gonna use it with some other face wash or some other facial cleanser how it's gonna work but since you know it was from uh, Olay itself you know it came with a package so it worked really well and it's actually an exfoliating renewal cleanser and you have to massage over moistened face rinse and pat dry avoid direct contact with eyes so yeah it worked really well I love this product this you know uh, tool face tool and I highly recommend it and then I got two more skincare items um, three more actually so these are some facial cleansing wipes that I ordered off eBay and they were really nice they buy a brand called Osiris Aviz and they're very nice they're delicately fragranced and they're good you know basically makeup cleansing wipes and then I got a set of cotton rolls and rounds and pads from a brand called Espanache these are cotton balls basic cotton balls and then these are cotton pads so these are rectangular cotton pads and then the third thing that uh, was included in the set are these cotton rounds and uh, these two you know things are really good but these cotton rounds they kind of you know have this can you see that they have a um, flower embossings and when you start applying it you know start applying toner or whatever you know and these cotton pads kind of tend to you know get uh, move apart you know the pieces the flower kind of separates and the surrounding thing kind of just gets torn apart so I prefer you know cotton rounds which don't have that kind of embossing so um, you can get the whole piece um, together you know <laughs> it doesn't break apart yeah and there are 50 in this 50 rectangular pads 50 cotton rounds and 50 cotton balls so yeah and then I finally again got off of eBay um, four sheet masks and I have so many sheet masks now and I do have to review a few sheet masks uh, by you know a skincare company that they've sent me and I'm gonna do detailed reviews about them um, about them also so yeah these are the skin honey aloe vera plus ha hydrating masks and I ordered four of them like they were available in two so I ordered two with two each um, and they are hydrating masks so because it's winter time and my skin is like kind of gets really dry and flaky uh, very very quickly so I have to keep hydrating it so that's the reason why I got these and I'm going to be using them very soon and um, I'll definitely tell you all on my snapchat on my Instagram how I like these or maybe on my blog I don't know <laughs> but yeah um, these I really like sheet masks these days and they're really good yeah so I think I did really well in my little haul and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you got some few tips for yourself and don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and um, comment with your comments below I really would like to know you know if you have any viewpoint about this video or the products that I've mentioned here and I will see you soon with another video until then wear beauty love and peace as your amulets my dear starlets bye